Hey guys, it's been quite a few years probably since I did any updates on any of my knives. Uh, but with the quarantine going on, I've had some spare time to do some things. And um, this is one of the things I've been meaning to get to for actually quite some time, quite a few months. And I finally got to it. It's the first knife I made. Uh, the first two iterations of it are on my channel. Um, and they were kind of iffy, and I never really cared for it. It had like black coating on it, it had black G10 handles. It was like supposed to be like a super tactical looking fixed blade and I never really got into it that much. So I decided to rework it and um, just make it much more usable and appealing to me. It has more of a camp knife look to it now, outdoorsy knife, um, but still retains a lot of the features that I thought made it quote unquote a tactical knife. Um, so it's still a chisel grind. Uh, I did that originally because I was afraid that if I did a V grind I would actually screw it up quite badly and the knife wouldn't be uh, very usable. It has the large draw point still. Um, I did that for a strong tip. That was something I was obsessed with at the time. Um, I still like the shape of it and everything, but uh, I'm not sure if I would have done it the same way that I did it here. Um, I also probably would have considered raising the grind up a bit to kind of thin it out, but um, I decided that was just too too risky. Um, you can see that there's quite a bit of room to readjust that grind so it slices a bit better, but uh, still cuts pretty well. Um, because it is a chisel grind, it kind of tracks a little bit wonky, but uh, it's not that big of a deal to me. Main thing that I changed was for the ergonomics and the looks was the handles. Um, the G10 was pretty thin and flat and I went with a hardwood that I had lying around, I believe it's a birch, and I just covered it with some, I think it's tongue oil. Um, it's epoxy to the handle, the old scales weren't epoxy down, and when I took them off I discovered some rusting, so I cleaned that off and when I put these on I epoxied it. I also hollowed out between these two um, chainring bolts here quite a bit to reduce the weight of the knife and make it feel more balanced in the hand. Um, increase the size of the finger choil here and the backhand area so it, so it sits in the hand quite a bit more comfortably now. Um, also the handles are probably twice as thick as the G10 was so I was able to, to better round them so they fit the hand better. I increased the size of the bolts I was using. I actually used true bicycle chainring bolts this time. I used them um, both I used female sides for both sides, and I cut the male, the, the, uh, I cut this part off the male side so I could thread into both sides of that. So the training bolts are kind of more or less for looks because it is uh, glued together. But um, The other thing that I did do was I removed the uh, thumb ramp up here. It was quite sizable, and I don't think I positioned it right, and it looked kind of, kind of strange. So I did some jimping on there. Um, I used the Dremel with a rotor, with a uh, carbide bit on it to do that. Uh, probably as good as anything to get for focus, but um, just a little zigzag pattern there in a large enough area that I can kind of reposition my thumb to be comfortable. So those are the changes I made to the knife, and I use um, marine tough cloth to keep the blade from rusting. I just wipe it down every now and then and uh, it does a pretty good job of it on my other knives. And the other thing I did too was I, I made a new sheath for it. Um, if you watch one of the original videos, the sheath I made for it was absolutely terrible. I don't know how I did such a bad job on it, but uh, I think this one came out a lot better. Um, I cut a lot away because uh, I want to, I can clip this top one and spin it around. And I can have it like that on my belt. Usually I take this off to make a little bit more room, but um, right now it's set up for a horizontal carry or uh, carry to be strapped to a backpack. So um, yeah, still, still could use some improvement, but it's a lot better than what the original one was. It doesn't really click in as well as I'd like it, and it seems like it's kind of grabbing in there. Uh, I covered the blade in tape, but it didn't. I don't think I used enough tape on the blade, so it kind of grabs a little bit, and then it clicks in, but that's the knife, that's the update to the knife. Um, thanks for watching.